So the first day we brought Michael home, we brought him home from the vet. He'd been fixed and he was suffering from anesthesia, so he was kind of stoned out of his mind. And he was so sweet. Justice picked him up and he just curled up in Justice's arms and just wanted to go home and be loved and be held. And we didn't really know what kind of a dog we were getting. You see them for a few minutes at the pound and, and that's not really indicative of the kind of dog you're gonna get, really. So we weren't sure and we brought him home and he was so loving and so cute. So we thought we'd done pretty good. We thought he was gonna work out just fine. Michael's got uh, Michael's got Rogue Falcor Scar and Finnegan. When Michael's bone disappeared, he was beyond distraught. And we knew we had to do whatever we could to help him in his search for his bone. He asked if we could just help him find his bone. And we just left. We went to the hottest deserts and the craziest places. And Michael told us we need to go to the top of the mountain. You have to go now. And all of a sudden it started snowing. It was the first time I'd been in snow. It was magical. He did have he did have us, but he also had other connections. Like we, he had his friends in San Francisco, the seals, he had Welsh the squirrel, he had Bambi's grandmother, Bamba. Uh, he had some adventures there looking for his bone, you know. He had some friends that helped him and, and some friends that that weren't friends that, that kept him from searching and thought that he shouldn't find his bone. So after we got back from the trip, it was depressing to say the least. We've been through a lot to find Michael's bone, and we failed on our journey. But you know, Mama went to the grocery store, and uh, I'll never believe what she came back with. I don't know anymore. enough, he was as happy as the day Ma brought home the first bone. It was the least I could do. Michael! 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 Some nights I stay up cashing in my bad luck. Some nights I call it a draw. Some nights I wish that my lips could build a castle. Some nights I wish they just fall off. But I still wake up, I still see our ghosts, oh Lord, I'm still not sure what I stand for. Oh, what do I stand for? What do I stand for? Most nights I don't know anymore.